Morning, brother and sister. This is Chuck. Chuck's off the grid world. I just got back from my bicycle ride and uh, I got the, my 400 mile checkup. Um, when I turned it off, it said 400 miles. And then when I turn it back on, it says 399. That's kind of crazy, but that's what happened. But uh, anyway, um, after 400 miles, I'm having a little review of the bike. Um, first of all, I'm going to start out with the headlight okay this headlight i've remounted it created a mount for it put it down here it broke electric sent me a new one i took the old one and jb welded it and it's held over 150 miles um it's working great I have no qualms about it whatsoever it stays suggested it works just fine uh, the other thing is this mirror mirror mounted it up here that works fantastic no problems whatsoever with the mirror next thing is the the brakes i had problems with the brakes under warranty electric electric sent me some new calibers front and rear uh they're mechanical they still have the cables the cables have stayed tight and I hadn't had any problems with them whatsoever. Um, after I got mechanical ones, everybody says, well, they was giving away the hydraulic ones. And I should have got hydraulic ones. Well, I did, I never received that email. I, I don't know what the deal was on that, but I got hydraulic ones and they're working great. Uh, I have no qualms with them once they stop. Uh, they're staying tight, no problems. Um, the other thing, I do have one little slight complaint with is this crazy seat it uh, it's still kind of crunchy it's not doing it right now because I've lubricated this I put some some WD-40 right there and it kept it from getting crunchy I have to do that about every I don't know 50 miles or start popping it's crunchy and it's it's uncomfortable um, even so it's, even though it's supposed to be an upgraded seat uh, it's not upgraded from my, my rear end it, it doesn't like it uh, it's comfortable for about the first half an hour and after that it starts getting hot spots but uh, my seat on my other bicycle is a lot smaller and a lot harder but it's actually more comfortable in, in, for a long distance so I'm not really sure I understand all that but uh, uh what else uh, um, oh i checked the mileage how far i can go on a full tank of gas <laughs> the way i ride it i ride it on uh, pedal assist one with the light on i always got this light on i don't think that light it's taking that much current i don't know but that I, I ride with it on just because it gives me visibility in the front and some visibility in the back although i don't really ride it in the dark at night time but i have before but uh on a full tank of gas fully charged the first time i took it out i got exactly 44 miles okay and I, i'm going to say something about the, the odometer okay the odometer on this thing in my opinion is not correct i think it's slow um by probably at least a half a block a mile but uh i don't know it, it seems to sometimes it takes forever to to drive right about a mile and then other times it seems like it, it in a half a mile it goes so I, I don't know if it's doing something weird or not but uh uh, I only got 44 miles out of that first tank. Now, granted, perhaps I didn't charge it 100%. Um, it was charged, but I didn't charge it until the the little light, there's a little light on this charger turned green. It was still red, so, but I had charged it for, oh, I don't know, at least four or five hours. The last part of the charge is a real slow charge. Okay, the second time, I rode the bike the same same conditions 
Um, granted, I do live in Colorado Springs. Uh, Pikes Peak is right, right uh, around the corner there, and we're in the foothills, and it's uphill, and it's it's uphill both ways against the wind. And so, whenever it gets down to about, I think 6.7 miles an hour, you can feel it starting to give you a little extra energy. But the second time I did it. I got 56 miles out of it, so 44 and first time is 56 the second time, and they were both similar conditions, uh, real world conditions. So that's what you can expect, in my opinion. Um, other than that, I still haven't got around to swapping out the fenders with my wife's bike because I put the white one off her white bike and the black one on my off my back on her right bike but the back one's still still the same i still haven't changed them out i'm thinking about perhaps just taking the fenders off altogether i don't know nico is the bodyguard right here she just got a bath hello nico the bodyguard hey hey little girl <laughs> say hi say hi yeah good girl all right uh I guess that's the end of my my little uh, report on the bike, the 400 mile report. I'll probably continue with the 500 mile report and then I'll start maybe doing 500 miles before I report if there's no major issues. So all in all, the bike's great. You know, those minor things that it's not really horrible, but it's not to my likings is that's the seat all right well thank you for watching